everyone it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel today I will be creating two tags I bought some Halloween themed embellishments and I thought to make two tags for Halloween and this is actually I'm really excited because I recently got a couple of products from Marabou and they're being promoted on Joggles, which is an amazing store that sells a lot of mixed media products. And in conjunction with them, we're doing a huge promotion. Joggles is going to be selling Marabou products, and I'm really excited to try these. They are amazing products that I will, I mean, no, let me just, instead of talking about them, let me just show you. So one of them is this fine liner color. The graphics line is what it is, and this is all a set of 24 fine liners in all different colors, and these are really, really great. So if you do any type of drawing or you want to add a height, you know, like outline anything, so these are the markers. And what I'm most excited about is this other set of markers. They're also by Graphics, but they're called Aqua Pens. And what they are, they're water-soluble markers with dual tips. And let me just say these are amazing. And I want to show you how both work. I am going to work on these Joggle exclusive watercolor paper tags. And they're basically a really thick watercolor. And this is the same watercolor paper that is used in the Disc Bound Journal. One side is smooth and the other one is is uh, ribbed. And these are the same basically thick watercolor papers and they're perfect for what I'm going to be doing today. And actually, I think I'm gonna work on the smooth side just to show you, no, you know what, let's do one and one. So I'll show you one on the smooth side and one on the ribbed side, although you can't really tell in the example. I'm gonna do two different techniques with two for the tags just because I want to show you different ways that you can use these markers and there's so many techniques out there like you can just experiment with them they're really worth uh, your buy because they are out uh, as I'm working with them I'll show you the different things that they can do and you can also I also got these which are like black fine liners these are only black and they come in different tips so it's great and i use these a lot for writing and stuff like that in my journaling so this is great as well um so let's get started and i'm going to work with one tag at a time just because otherwise it's too complicated we'll start with the ribbed one and this one what i want to do is that i want to add some tissue paper I bought this Tim Holtz Ideology collage paper. This is the Halloween version for this year. And I thought that I could basically add some pieces of it on my background. I thought it would look really, really nice. So let's see. Let's see what we want. I really love this area over here. And the thing I like about this tissue paper is that you can, you can use parts of it. This lace is gorgeous, but I think I'm gonna do flowers. Let's see, I think, well, maybe I could, we could get a piece of the lace. No, I think I'm gonna do flowers this time. So I'm gonna rip the flower from over here. And I'll just roll up the paper. So the nice thing about it, you don't have to be exact when you're using collage paper. Let's see, maybe this way is better and like the flower over here so that looks nice okay perfect and i will cut off the excess so you don't need a lot of paper which is nice and look how much it's a huge roll and it's not really so much halloween themed so you could use this for basically anything so that's why it's really really nice and of course all the materials are listed below in the description area and they're all available at joggles to glue this i'm going to use a little bit of collage medium it's just so easy to use and I'm just going to glue this underneath so I'm going to just add a little bit here I'm going to spread it with my paintbrush and let's see over here like this and then of course with anything you should always seal your work especially when you're using tissue paper because you don't want it to get ruined from the water and now i'm going to 
spread it here. You could use any type of gel medium for this, the soft matte gel from Prima. You could use matte medium from Liquitex. Basically anything goes. As usual, there's no, there's no strict reasons of why I use one thing over the other. This is because it has a gel medium, you need to put something else on top in order to have some grip for the watercolor. I guess you could put the watercolor straight on too, but it gives you a different effect and that's not what I wanna do. I'm gonna heat set this a little bit and I'm gonna add the next product. Now I want to add some white gesso and it could be any type of white gesso. This is the one I had handy. It's a heavy white gesso because I really don't want everything to show. I want some areas to show and some areas I want to cover so it gets like a good effect on the background. Now I'm going to experiment and I'm not going to put gesso everywhere, meaning some areas will have the gel and some areas will have the gesso and we'll see the different effects with the watercolor. So basically those markers act as watercolors and they're just perfect for any type of watercolor effect that you want to do. So as you see, I covered just a little bit of this, not too much, because I want to leave some of the beautiful designs, but I want them to be a little bit more subtle. And I'm going to heat set again. The next product I'm going to use is I'm going to use some modeling paste to create some texture. The nice thing about these tags is they're, they're really, really thick. So they really take a lot of medium and they don't warp as much. I think this is Strathmore 140 cold pressed watercolor paper. So it really takes a lot of mediums and that's what's nice about these. And you can buy these as is at Joggles and they're just really amazing because they take a lot of really thick stuff. And on top of it, these are the same material that creates a disc bound art journal so it's really amazing because they actually have a disc bound tag journal as well which is really really cool i grab one of the joggle stencils and i will put all the as i said the list of the names below i just don't remember the name of this stencil offhand but it kind of looks like brickwork and i like this type of stencil and i'm going to place the tag where i want it and then i'm going to add the modeling paste I'm not going to add it everywhere, just in certain areas that I want to create texture. You don't want it every single place. You don't want to cover the whole tag because that defeats the purpose of what you're doing. So I always take a little bit of modeling paste and just start adding it in certain areas. Usually it's nice to balance it out by adding it in one corner and, when, and then adding it in the other corner. It's nice to always think uh, geometrically about things either in sets of three or in sets of twos if it's something small like a tag. So I'm adding stuff here, but I'm also adding stuff on this side as well. So just a little bit. And the nice thing about this paste is that it's kind of translucent. So you'll be able to see the design underneath. And also when you add the color, it will look really, really nice. So let me lift this up. You can't really see it at the moment, but trust me, it's there. So you can see the, the design more or less. And of course, this needs to be heat set as well. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to be giving away these two tags to two lucky winners. So stay tuned till the end of the video to see how you can win them. Now I'm going to color this tag using the graphics uh, aqua pens and I've already used these one time to do another project that is coming out later on today so stay tuned there is I know two videos coming out on the same day it doesn't usually happen on my channel but just happened to coincide with two different promotions one it's a YouTube hop and there's a lot of really cool prizes to be won and one of them is a Joggles actually gift certificate. So you could always buy yourself this if you win. But so you could basically wait out and until this afternoon to see the other video also using the same markers. And it's a completely different thing. I'm using I'm doing a art journal. So I am going to pick a couple colors. I think this and the purple because we're going to go with the Halloween theme. Maybe I'll include a little bit of yellow as well. 
and obviously I'm going to do black as well. So I'm going to start with the lighter colors and there's two dual, there's two tips. There's the regular marker tip and then there is the brush tip. This is called a fine tip and I like the brush tip. It's not a soft brush, it's a hard brush, but it works really, really well. And all you have to do is, I mean, this is what I like doing, is I like either putting it on and then taking the water, a water bottle, and spraying it and letting it drip in between the, the different textures that you have. Always have a wipe handy if this happens so you can remove what you don't like. Now there's other ways of working with these. You could use things like this as water refillable brush and you could also use it that way. So for example, you can like add it on this side and then use this as a brush. You could also use a regular brush to do this and depending on how much water you add obviously it dilutes less or more and the nice thing about it it does is that it doesn't streak you don't see the watercolor marks you don't see the the pen marks so this is two ways of doing it there's a third way and that is for example you could spray the water first and then use the marker and it just dilutes it on this spot. So there's really different ways of using this and it's really all the same. Now, because I'm using a color that is opposite in the color spectrum, I'm going to dry this orange part first and then I'm gonna add the purple. Actually, before I do that, I want to add, I'm gonna use the other tip just to show you. This is the fine tip just to show you that it works the same way. You see, it just melts the lines so quickly. So it's perfect for that. So let me dry this up because I want to add the purple as well. So now I'm gonna add the purple. just to kind of add that color. You don't have to add it everywhere, but I love color, so I always add this. And now I'm going, I'm gonna spray it and let it drip. And the nice thing is that it doesn't interfere as much with the orange. It does change the color a little bit, but not as much as if I would probably leave it um, if I would probably make them all done at the same time. With the next tag, I'm going to actually try it all together so you can see the difference. And you can really see the ridges of the watercolor paper. So this is why I wanted to use two different sides because in the smooth one, it probably won't show as much. But this gives it a really cool effect. I'm going to dry this one now. And I could even go and wipe off some of the areas. So I really love how it dried up and everything shows through. What I want to do is I want to uh, do a border, but I'm going to work on the other tag first. For my second tag, I want to really see how everything interacts with the watercolor itself without adding any mediums first. So I thought to create a background a different way, to create some kind of busy background. So you could take something like a script stamp or some kind of design and stamp it on this. But I thought another idea, and just to show you how these graphics markers work, especially the fine lighter, I thought, oh, what if like I journal on this first or just pretended to write something. So I thought to just grab maybe something like the black marker maybe even the purple one would work as well and start writing things so talk about what i feel about halloween like this is perfect this technique is perfect if you're going to use it for art journaling where you could write and and, and write something before and then cover it up so let's see halloween is So basically, I'm just basically doodling here. 
And I thought this is a cool background because you could just uh, write something like this. Look how cool this background is. Actually, it was so smooth to write with this. Let's add a little bit of purple here. Now nah, I'm just really doodling. I'm actually not writing anything at all. And you could go in different direction. And let's add a little bit of orange as well since we're doing the theme of Halloween. We might as well add these. They're actually so smooth. I can't believe it. So they are perfect. So basically, I'm just I just doodled here. And how cool is that? So I like that. And that's basically my background. So instead of stamping, I went ahead and doodled everywhere. I mean, that's just me. I like doodling, but I just really wanted to test these markers and they're really amazing. Like I really, really like them. Now I'm going to move these aside and I am going to actually only add a texture with stencil because I love when I have watercolor that things kind of drip everywhere. So I picked another stencil from Joggles. Again, I don't know the name, but I will later on. And I am going to add this here. And I thought instead of using modeling paste, I'll use 3D matte gel, which is like a very thick gel that you can use through stencils. And that really helps to create texture and it doesn't like run under the stencil because it's thick enough, as you can see. It's just another way of adding texture to something. And I'm not going to cover it all because I do want to see how it interacts, how the watercolors interact with certain things. This is why I want to leave yeah. some of the watercolor paper behind. So I did not put any gesso or any gel in the background, only where this stencil is. That's what's going to happen and it's going to look differently. I want to see how the watercolor pens interact directly with the watercolor paper. So you can see this, it will go, it's going to dry clear, which is good for me. And once I heat set it, I'll be able to add the watercolors. For the second tag, I'm going to pick the same colors. Maybe I'll start with the purple this time, just because, just to be different. And uh, uh, you don't have to add it separate ways. You could actually mix it all up. So I'm going to try it in this one to mix the colors to see how it goes. I want to leave, I want to add them in patches and then I'll have them kind of mix up with each other. Usually you shouldn't mix them up, but you know what? It's good to try things and just see how it works. Purple is kind of a funny color that can go with different things, but not all colors do because sometimes it can turn into like a big messy brown. But what I want to show you is that you don't have to do things in patches. You can just add the, the different colors and then spray them or watercolor them. And depending on how much ink you put, see I'm putting a lot of the orange here, you will get different effects. And you can see the pattern coming out through this. Let's see if it pays off. So this is another way to actually cover and I'm trying to cover as many techniques as I can. I'm not putting a lot of water because I don't want to overwhelm this and it might make it a little bit more brownish but you know what that could be like a vintage color. <laughs> That's how I see it. And you can clean your paintbrush in between. So for example I could have a wipe over here and just kind of wipe off the excess purple so it really only blends in the edges so it is turning a little bit of brown but that's okay because I mean these cards these tags are supposed to be vintage so if you do not want the brownish part of it then go ahead and uh, add the color separately like I did with the first tag and I like color so I do cover everything but you don't have to cover the whole tag you could just cover parts of it. And look how easy it is to basically make a background with this. 
and you can add as much color as you want or as little color as you want depending on how much marker you put on so that's basically my background I want to kind of dilute it a little bit more and let it run it's creating really pretty colors that way as well so this is a great way of mixing the colors together it makes it look more vintage and you see it looks like the writing underneath it looks really really cool it looks like a some kind of old ledger or something like that or some kind of receipt so it kind of all worked out really well so you can see the marker underneath but not everywhere and it looks i don't know i really really like this so that's perfect i'm going to dry this up as well now that i have both tags side by side you can really compare the difference so the one where i actually let things dry in between didn't mix the colors so you got a little bit of that brown color because the colors mixed but most of it stay the same and you can see the different textures depending on whether it was on the actual paste or on the actual gel that was on top of the layers and you can see the beautiful tissue paper layers underneath for this one i just really love how this turned out it looks so vintage the brown actually really added really nice color to this so i actually love how this turned out i love how accidents sometimes happen or maybe not accidents but you know like things that you don't expect and they actually turn out really nice so what i'm going to do for this and i'm actually going to do a little bit i'm going to make them a little bit different so i'm going to work and I'm going to make the brown border for this one, but black border for this one. And I love making borders because I think they frame things really, really well. So let's start with the brown one. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to basically make the line. And then use the water brush, the water brush to blend it in. So it creates a really cool border around and you can make it as thick or as thin as you want that's the beauty of it so depending on how much marker you put how thick it goes in it creates things differently now I want to just put it all around it's just easier to do that and then you can go ahead and move with the with the water brush so, I mean, they're so easy to use. These markers are super, super easy to use. And you can use them as regular markers or dilute them with water. And they create beautiful backgrounds like you see here. So, I love in this, in this particular tag, what I love about this is that it actually worked directly on the paper. And look how well it blended everything. Just so impressed. It blended things, whether it's on the paste, whether it's on gel. So that's why I love doing experiments to kind of test what goes with what and what works with what. So you could use this to basically edge paper. So you, I mean, I could take a, an ink and do that as well. But I like the fact that you can edge this. And you can always add more. You can dry it up, which I'm going to set to the side. And I'm going to work with the black one. And then I might add some more brown afterwards. Now for this one, I thought to go with black just because it has more black elements and less brown ones, just to make the tags a little bit different. And this worked the same way. And the nice thing about this is that you can add some more black elements afterwards. You can add stamping. You can add so many things to this. And now I'm going to add the water. Or the other option, of course, is to just spray and let it pull in, which I love doing as well. Look at that. When you add the water and you spray it, it starts like going into the, all the grooves and all the embellishments. It makes it look really nice because I don't mind adding a little bit of darkness to this. It looks really cool. It mixes with the other colors as well. And looks really nice so I'm gonna dry the two tags and then see if it needs some more color on the edges all 
Okay, I want to add a second layer of the border just because I feel like it needs that to make it look darker. So I'm going to do that again for both of them. This time I'm just going to go around and just spray it with water because it's just a little bit e easier to do. And there you go. And for this one, which I just double sprayed, I do the same thing. Some areas will be darker than others and that's okay. I like using crayons, art crayons as well for this purpose. Marabou has amazing art crayons as well. I've done videos on that as well. And so there we go. Let me just, and it'll make it a little bit more Halloween looking. I'm just going to put something that to hold this down. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna let this one dry as well. And then we're gonna get to embellish. So a few things to point out, if you look at this tag, you see how cool is the pattern. The gel medium repelled the watercolor. That's why you see it white. It basically protected the paper underneath. So you really see the pattern. And look at the cool script that I created with the other pens. I just think it looks like an old receipt. It looks really, really cool. And in this one, you can really see the pattern of the brick but you also see the subtle images of the tissue paper. So it's all mixed up together and it just creates such a cool texture and I really, really love it. Now to embellish, I got this fantastic thing, ephemera uh, paper doll set. It's called Ancestors from Tim Holtz Ideology. And I picked two images. There's a lot of really cool images. But I am going to basically include this, put it somewhere on here, because I think I love these witches. I think they're so cool. I think I really wanted to create vintage cards. So this is why I thought this would be perfect for that. And I'm playing around to see which one fits perfectly. I think maybe like that. Yeah, that looks really good. And I'm going to use other elements as well to embellish. So all I'm going to do now is basically glue the two collage images, the two vintage images. I think this is such a cool picture. I love it so much. Okay, so there is the one image. And I picked this other image because I thought it was cool. I was, I don't, I don't like something about old photos. They creep me out a little bit. So these were the... The ones I thought would be the best. I usually don't use photos like this because of that reason. There we go. And now I picked a few flowers. These are old Prima flowers that I just want to embellish with. I picked, I mean, obviously I stayed with the color theme. This time I'm going to use Fabri-Tac glue. I just pulled any flowers I had and a couple of leaves and for this one the same thing I picked a different flower the other thing is I want to add a little phrase to it so here is like the other Tim Holtz ideology there's a bunch of paper a bunch of words and I mean phrases and stuff and I thought some of these could be like just for anything basically you could use. So that's really nice. So calls answered day or night. I think that's really cute for the witches. I'm going to add them here. And for this one, here, this is good. Ghost of the Departed. I think that's pretty good. Okay. So now I brought the, some of this wire jute wire it's pretty thick i'm thinking i could add it in the hole just to make it look cool and 
and then let me make it the other for the other one as well so there is the top of the tags last but not least to tie it all in i'm going to take a little bit of paper texture and you can take any type of white texture for this and all i'm going to do is i'm going to apply some of it to the flowers to kind of add some white to them to match the background there is white in the background and i find that there's too much of a contrast when you just leave the flowers all by themselves so by adding a little bit of this it kind of adds texture and contrast both at the same time you can also add a little bit if you want to the edges not a lot just a little bit it just adds like that really nice cool texture and it's not everywhere right so I just apply it in certain areas even on on the actual jute even on the leaves sometimes it really helps bring everything together I really love this effect and I do use it a lot in a lot of my videos so you've probably seen it often but it makes such a difference at the end it makes like a difference between something all mismatch and something cohesive so I love doing that and you see I'm not even adding that much just a little bit and I'm going to do the same thing with the other side so this is it I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned lots of how to use these amazing markers and remember that Joggles has them on a promotion right now so if you want to get them and if you're looking to get some watercolor markers this is the time to do so if you love drawing then the fine liners are fantastic as well so that's another investment that you can do as well and there is another promotion there's other watercolor um other watercolor products that are being promoted as well i'm only focusing on these two uh, please stay tuned later on for another video that is coming out i will link it once it's live so you can see both videos and you can kind of get the ideas of how to use these in different ways how to use the markers in different ways and now for my giveaway if you want to win one of these tags i'm giving both of them away i'll ship anywhere in the world all you have to do is just leave me a comment saying that you do want to participate in the giveaway you don't have to you can just leave me a comment just for being nice and i love comments and i always read them so i appreciate every single one of them but if you do want to win one of these tags all you have to do is leave me a comment and tell me why you love halloween or why you hate halloween or what is it anything that related to halloween and I will pick two winners a week from today. It will end at 12 midnight Eastern Standard Time on the 12th, which is, I think, yes, a week from today. So you have until then. And I will pick two winners. I will let them know on on YouTube itself that they won. I will leave them like I will leave you guys a comment if you want. And all you have to do is be a subscriber of my channel and leave a comment. That's it. So I hope you like my video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media. For more inspiration, subscribe to my channel and visit the Joggles channel and the Joggles website. All the links are listed below in the description area with every single thing that I use today. Maybe some of the flowers might not be there, but you can use any flowers for this. And thank you so much for coming to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, please, please, please. And have an amazing day. Bye.